Well done, everybody. There were some amazing creations in there. And um, before we just go on to the rest of the service, let's just lift everything that was in those circles up in prayer now. So, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that when we ask, you listen. And we raise up all of these situations, concerns, loves and worries to you now. And we ask for your blessing and your love to be in each and every situation we've just seen and all others on our hearts today. Amen. Now, as many of you know, uh, every week Sharon picks a winner from all these entries and that winner gets to choose which leader gets a pie in the face. Now, last week, Ellie won and Chris had to face the pie. And we thought it'd be a bit of a shame just to show you that look at the once. So just to get you in the mood, here's what happened. Just come for a shave, but I can't see where the shaving foam is. Ed, I don't know if you have you seen my shaving foam anywhere? Shaving foam, shaving foam. I remember. Well, I I did ask for it. <laughs> Great work, Chris. And now it's time to reveal who Sharon has picked as a winner this week. Now, there were some great circles of prayer, but the winner for her clock face of asks this week is... It's Emily. Now, well done, Emily. Great news for you because you get to pick who faces the pie a little bit later on. We'll find out if it's not great news for your parents. Um, stay tuned to find out who it will be just a little bit later on. But now, let's just, as we start the rest of this service, let's come together in a time of prayer. Now, we'll be hearing a little bit later on about reconciliation in terms of our why today, of our yield, of our yes. But reconciliation often starts with confession, uh, where we come before God, we look back over our day or over our week, and we just clear the decks of everything that went wrong. So... What we want you to do now is just, is, is just get comfortable. Um, however it is that you like to pray, maybe you want to close your eyes, maybe you want to bow your heads, maybe you want to open your hands, maybe you want to, I don't know, however however's good for you. There is no right and wrong way to do this. So whatever works for you, um, just get comfortable and uh, let's join together now in prayer. So dear Lord, as we, we come before you now in prayer, and as we look back over our week, we ask you to bring anything to mind that we need to step away from, to lay down, to confess and to leave behind. We are sorry for all the things we do and say in those times that we get it wrong, but also for the things that we should have done but didn't. Lord, we ask for your forgiveness in all these moments. And we ask and we thank you that you always want a relationship with us and that you cleanse us of our mistakes time and time again. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And now it's time to move into our first time of worship. And today we're going to be singing the song Second Chance, which follows on actually from that confession that we all just did together to celebrate the fact that Jesus gives us the route back every time we mess up. And there's a line towards the end of the song about how we get countless second chances because Jesus died on the cross for us. And that, I think you'll agree, is definitely worth celebrating. So let's enjoy that. Uh, get involved. And then afterwards, Sharon will be here uh, bringing, bringing us today's story. And so I'll see you a little bit later. <laughs> 